Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, I am back from my moving. Um, it was a lot of work. I'm so glad it is done. I don't think I'll ever move again. <laughs> it was a lot. It was just a lot. So let's get into this reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and see what comes up for Virgo. So let's get at the energy or Virgo, please. What's going on for Virgo? So Virgo, you're looking back at past mistakes with a queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be that sign. Could be someone who's very in that queen of swords mode, very logical. They're truthful, um, but they are not emotional. They're very logical. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Virgo, starting with Aries. So if you're dealing with an Aries, somebody's making a head over heart decision to cut out a third party. Or they could be, they're cutting out something. So they're cutting out a third party. So, okay, so let's get a uh, Taurus. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody is watching No, this is them rushing towards you with a harsh truth. This is the prince, which is the which is the knight. Um, they're rushing towards you to speak a truth about their happiness, their wish fulfillment. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is brokenhearted. If you're dealing with a Cancer. Someone's waiting for that cup of love. They're waiting for love. If you're dealing with a Leo, someone's very trapped in their head and it's causing a tower moment. Towers that aren't built on, they're not built on solid foundation. So uh, if there's something that wasn't built on a solid foundation, it's going to crumble and someone's very trapped in their head about it, about it, something's falling apart. If you're dealing with another Virgo, I feel like somebody's blocking somebody from speaking. So this is blocking, standing their ground. I feel like you're blocking somebody and not speaking to somebody. Somebody has been blocked and you're not talking. If you're dealing, if you're dealing with a Libra, Libra is very happy with a, with an Aries, Leo or a Sag. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio is trying to be patient to communicate where communication is concerned. They're trying to be patient. They're trying to find some kind of balance where this either forward movement or communication is involved. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius has options. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn, emotional communication, somebody is feeling, um, about healing. This is about someone's emotionally communicating that they want to heal something. They want to recover something. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's at a crossroads because of, of strife, jealousy, and competition. So th there's a lot of drama and someone's at a crossroads on which path do I take? You know, which, which direction do I need to go to get the hell away from all of this nonsense? That's what I'm feeling. Um, if you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody wants to, ju they're manifesting justice in a situation. They're manifesting justice. So let's get into the reading and find out why. You're looking back at past mistakes with the Queen of Swords. See what's going on for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so you have the Empress here. And you have the happiness of the Empress. So new beginnings, foundations, you know, so this is, this is it, creative uh, fidelity. It's, it's so much, but the Empress is the divine feminine and the happiest card in the deck next to the Empress is, is beautiful energy. You have a King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you have a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
somebody is walking away. They could be walking away to offer their love to somebody else. You're working with the Queen of Wands. You may work with the Queen of Wands. Okay, well, let's see. There's a lot of players on the board here for you. And you have some regrets. Emperor Energy. We have a true match on the board here. Two of Cups. And that you want with this Prince of Wands. That's the Knight of Wands. You want to rush towards your Two of Cups, which would be the Empress in this case. So when you have the Emperor and the Empress on the board, you have a true, true match. Let's see who your true match is and what's going on here. So you're you're really holding on to a truth, wanting to move forward. You're wanting to come and speak a truth, coming back around to speak a truth. You may be traveling. You may be at a distance. Um, there was betrayal, and now there you want to communicate um, about the deception. Now you're ready to talk. That's what this is. This is you ready to talk. Whether you're the empress or the emperor, you're one of the two here. But I almost feel like the energy as the Queen of Pentacles is the Empress in this case. But it could go in the other direction as well. What I'm seeing is the happiness of the Empress. That's what your goal is here, right? Because you want to rush towards your Two of Cups. But there's a King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and somebody walking away to offer their cup to somebody else. Um, working with this Queen of Wands, you have regrets. Okay, so I feel like it's almost like you switched roles here. Because the King and the Queen of Wands are the same person. And I feel like you're coming in as an emperor here. You're going from the Queen of Pentacles to an emperor. But you want to rush towards your empress. So Virgo, I'm feeling in this case that you may be the emperor. You could be the empress, but take it out. Resonates with you. Um, I'm kind of being drawn to it being a masculine energy here for some reason. But um, okay, so let's find out why. The empress's happiness. What is what's going on with that? So there was a lot of drama around around this empress. You felt you felt very you, you felt very trapped in your head. Um, about some kind of drama um, or there was competition around this empress and you felt very trapped in your head about the competition around this empress right and the happiness you're trying to master your emotions for your happiness king of okay so king of wands now this emperor this could be an emperor in a lower vibration too okay this could be you coming in as the emperor here um so your empress possibly could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio in that case. Um, trying to master your emotions. King of Wands and the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, this Queen of Pentacles waited. They're waited. They waited and it, they walked away from you because you were juggling. So if this empress is this queen of pentacles, this person waited, but you walked away from them because you were juggling somebody else. You want to apologize and offer your cup. You're walking away from another relationship to come back around to somebody else. So let me get this straight. There was competition and you were trapped in your head about competition around the empress. But I feel like you left the Empress for somebody else. So you may have left the, the Empress to go towards somebody else. Now you're trying to master your emotions for your happiness. You're coming in as the King of Wands, which would be the Emperor in a lower vibration with a Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like you waited. I feel like you waited for a while with a Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is who you were, who you, uh, you left the, the empress for. Um, you may have waited for something long-term and committed with somebody else, or you waited for money. Why am I feeling like you waited for money with this person? 
So with this queen of pentacles, very grounded, solid, stable, dependable energy, waiting for those ships to come in, but it was because it had to do with money. So you may have left the empress to go with somebody because of a, a, a bag of money. That's what I'm feeling like. You you may have walked out on your true person because this person may have offered you some kind of a... You waited for the ships to come in, but the, the ships were filled with money here. So whatever this was, you were waiting for some kind of money to come in. You walked away because of juggling. So you walked away, you're juggling. You made a decision to walk away, to offer your love and, and apologize. Betrayals under the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles, you need strength to work on something. You need strength because the Queen of Wands, the person that you had this waited for the money to come in. She's a queen of wands, queen of pentacles. You may have had a new beginning of love and thought you, you thought you won the prize. I feel like Virgo, if you walked out on your empress, which has kind of been your story for uh, so many months, um, the person that you walked out on your empress for was your karmic. And you thought with this new beginning in love, you had the victory. You thought you won. You thought you found the one. You thought this person was the one because they offered you love and money. I mean, they dangled a pretty good carrot in front of you and, and you kind of bought it, right? But now there's regret. Was something from the past, a past relationship. Now you're regretting this past relationship. Emperor energy. You're very trapped in your head wanting to communicate, but you know, you, you know you've got to be on guard because this person's not going to take it. Two of Cups energy. You're obsessed with reconciling. You were trying to rush somebody and take a leap of faith, but you're kind of feeling like they're discontent about your deception. They're not going to take you back. This person said, no, this is over. Right? You left me, even though you're the emperor, you know, this is not coming back around like you think it is. Even though this is a twin, you held off. You held, you held back. You held back from coming forward with the truth. You held back from coming forward with the truth. You may have held on to that truth too long. And the empress just like, mm, yeah, no, I'm okay. Because there's deception and emotional communication about the deception. You want to tell this person the truth, but I don't feel like they're going to give you the time of day, to be honest with you. You want to emotionally communicate after not speaking for a long time. See? That would be your wish fulfillment. Yeah. But you're coming in with that very immature energy after you haven't said one word to this person in a very long time and thinking that you're going to get your wish fulfillment. You're not. I feel like, I feel like Virgo. I feel like that ship has kind of sailed for you where this person is concerned. Um, that betrayal and emotional communication about the deception. Someone was left out in the cold. Empress energy, right? And they see clearly why. Divine timing is at play, right? To heal. I feel like they have manifested a king of swords. Somebody else. Uh, that brings them peace and balance. So I don't feel like if, the, if you're coming back to this person to communicate that you're going to be successful. It's not going to happen. I feel like this person is just kind of over it. They've manifested somebody else. And... um. It's, it's almost kind of arrogant. Um, now, Virgo, if this isn't you, if this is the if this is the person you're dealing with it, flip it, switch it, however it resonates with you, right? Because not everybody's going through the same thing. But to try to emotionally communicate it after you haven't spoken to somebody for a very long time, thinking you're going to get your wish fulfillment, they haven't forgot how you stabbed them in the back. Just know that, right? Pause and purge. Pause and purge, right? The karmic relationship. You you had a karmic relationship. And and you're you're 
you thought they were your muse, but they weren't. They weren't. They weren't your muse. Your muse you stepped on, right? Refocus was under the bottom of the deck. I, I don't feel like you're going to get a chance here. I feel like they have moved on. Uh, one person wants to give too much in this relationship. Time apart, distance has to help will help bring you clarity. Don't don't dismiss the red flags here. The person that you're coming towards isn't dismissing the red flags, right? But you feel very vulnerable, um, and like you can be completely open with this person, and you feel like it's meant to be, right? Um, I don't feel like. I feel like this person's gotten all the clarity they need for the healing, for their healing, divine timing and healing. Um, you may have had an awakening, but I feel like this, this pre-empress has gotten all the clarity and, and knows uh, what's meant to happen to heal. Um, and, you know, I feel like they just kind of have moved on. They have free will here. Empowerment, prosperity, finding and your passion trying to find your passion maybe you because you the empowerment is is the emperor to me um maybe you uh found your passion in whatever it was that made you happy as far as work goes um because you felt empowered in your prosperity finding your passion so whatever this was you found your passion at whatever you do um but that still you may be coming back because you feel more confident and you feel more uh able to do this but i don't feel like you're going to get the reception you think you're going to get right because somebody here has got protection and they have their willpower right so I, I I'm just not buying it. I'm not finding I'm not finding that for you here. I find that that whatever this was, you made a big mistake and you took too long to come back and try to make it right. Um, so that's all I have for you, Virgo. I think I'll take this to the extended and get you some more clarity. So if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.